everyone, this is going to be my first uh, out of the country con. I'm here in Mexico visiting my mom's hometown. So yeah, I did a little look today. So this is a little bit different from my usual setup. I kind of had to play around with it for a bit. So I'm just going to show you a little bit behind the scenes. So this is how the bag looks like. Unfortunately, I don't have as much space. These tables are a little bit not as wide. So I had to kind of put, apparently here in Mexico, Demon Slayer is very, very popular. So I just had those buttons all laid out because I'm assuming those are going to be the first to go. And then I just have my prints easily laid out for me, some stickers. My charms are here, so I have to like look for them. I have a few other things over there. So we're gonna see how this setup works. It's very different, I'm not used to it. So hopefully everything goes smoothly and it's not gonna be as difficult as it seems, but we'll see. We're about to open in a few minutes. We're actually running a little bit late. So yeah, that gives me a little bit of time to kind of get everything ready. And then I'll show you guys how the front looks like. So I couldn't bring my grids. I have this weird thing that my aunt let me borrow since they run like a printing coffee shop. So here I have my prints kind of laid out. I also had my stickers here, pins here. I didn't bring everything. Same for a few Genshin keychains and a few heart pins, a few other buttons. I didn't bring all my merch, but I just brought what I kind of had a lot left over from the last con. So she looks cute. She's small, but she works. So I wanted to make it easier for everyone to kind of look at it. Uh, these are just, you know, my social medias, whatever. And I was assuming there was going to be more people here for Artist Alley since they don't really have something like an Artist Alley, but uh, I'm the only one I see, so we'll see how it goes. Hello everyone! So now that I'm back from my recent little vacation trip, I am back and this actually arrived way earlier than what I originally expected. So I'm ready to open this up and check out how all the new bins came out. Really excited about that. I ordered quite a few so hopefully there are going to be no issues. And yeah, a lot of bubble wrap. So. Uh, this isn't that much of a big order. I just ended up reordering the charms that were new to, from my last con. So all the Luxium charms are here, as well as my Hollow Live and my Lennon Rin. So I already saw those came out since you know I made one of those last time. So what I'm really interested in right now are these guys. These are new. I made uh, Nichi Sanji heart pins for all the waves. So it's like 20 new pin designs all in here. So I'm excited to check that out and see how they turned out. I also just realized they gave us these in the, these little plastic bags I actually prefer. I know they have the biodegradable ones, but this is less of a hassle. You usually have to go through each one individually to check the design, count them, and then when I distribute them, I have cons on as well. But yeah, this is gonna be the first one. Let's see. This one is for box. Let me take it out of the little baggie so it's a little bit easier to see. So far, I like the uh, the broken hollow. Usually, I tend to use the star one for my other buttons, but for this one, I want to use the hollow. Here we go. It's cute. I think I made the background a little bit more on the red side, but it looks a little bit more pink. 
but then at the same time I guess it's okay just because usually my brand tends to be pastel anyway so in the display set it would probably look a little bit off having like all these really bright colors but we'll see because I have to look through all of them now hopefully the colors are not too like some more pastel than the others blah 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 also you can't really tell for for his pin design but for most of these since I was trying to make them look a little bit softer for the outlines I usually tend to use like a brown but I actually try to use more of a purple Baka's design is a little bit darker so you can't really tell hopefully you can tell in a few of the other ones but yeah let's check the other ones out then here they all are all twin designs so far these are I don't have the most recent wave and that's because they debuted it literally a few weeks after I got these guys sent out so most likely I'm gonna work on that next but for now I have all the other uh, waves from Niji Sanji so yeah I really like how they came out so far I have uh, each member nothing's missing etc etc i just kept them in their baggies just because i'm kind of lazy to take them out but yeah if i do this you can pretty much see the broken hollow on them the only thing i'm not so happy about is rosemary <laughs> because literally her hair color and the background tend to blend in in my ipad on the drawing it doesn't look that saturated i try to make sure that it was slightly um lighter than her hair so that there wouldn't really be much of an issue like this so next time i reprint them if anything i'm probably going to make the back lighter i try to do on all of them like a like a gradient but for rosamy i think it's better if i just do her background this whole solid uh, light pink color just so that it pops up a little bit more she still looks cute though and everything but it's just from afar it looks a little bit too blended in together that's my only complaint. Everyone else's colors look pretty great. The ones I for sure am super excited for are Inna and Shu because they're both my Oshi, so these are mine. Ha 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 ha. Let's take a look at these. Ooh. Oh my god, they're so cute. I love them. I try and make Shu really cute and chibi because he's like my little uh, little boy. I love him so much. Ooh. And Inna. And uh, my princess. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Honestly, the only reason why I made all of these are because I really wanted these two for myself. And I was like, hmm, if I'm gonna do that, I might as well make everyone else. So yeah, I ended up making all of these because I just wanted these two. And um, yeah, I know there's a lot of Luxia merch out there. So I wouldn't really have any issues, but I was like, no, I want like something cutesy because I just like really cute stuff and I really wanted a cute shoe button or pin for my shoe eater bag that eventually I'm going to work on. Same with, with Enna, there's not a lot of Enna merch out there and I want like cutesy, I want cutesy pastel. So I was like, well, I gotta do it myself. Hopefully, well, I was getting into Nichi Sanji when it was still, um, like all the waves and Luxium were there but they were just like at the starting off. Uh, for Luxium, so they weren't as like I mean, yeah, they were pretty popular from the get go, but they weren't as big as they are like right now, currently. So I know at most cons, there's like a lot more stuff. Um, so yeah, also, the good thing is I can use these for trades, so I can get all my Enna and shoe stuff. <laughs> so yeah, these are mine. I have more of those in there obviously but yeah I'm gonna keep these out because I might as well take some product photos for the shop I made like 20 of each for these but I'm only going to put a few on the shop maybe five to ten each uh, just because I want to save the rest for anime Riverside and hopefully if I get into anime ALA 
hopefully they still don't have artist applications out for that yet but just in case i gotta save some of these guys uh i just made a new order for the luxie invoice just because since they're the most popular currently i'm assuming those are the ones that are gonna run out first but then again who knows i get surprised there's a lot of uh, other like you know sims out there for the other members and the other waves hopefully because i want i want to meet more shu and Anna. oshi simps please my people let's fangirl fanboy whatever let's just freak the fuck out over our oshis together Thank you.